of you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. I uh, appreciate you hanging out for another lesson. Gonna get into uh, some acoustic bluesy embellishments uh, that you can use for lots of different stuff. Uh, I like them, there's one in particular on the D7 I don't think I've ever taught. Oh, and also I've got a link down in the first comment for the site, you know, tons of courses there. Most of them are free. All right, let's, let's break it down. All right, we're gonna base this one around an A blues or the chords of A blues. So A7. And we're gonna play it with the middle finger and ring finger. Second fret D, second fret B. The D7. And then the E7. First fret G, second fret A. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna take a rhythm. Seven, and then the D7. And so here's the little embellishment. It's to get this hammer, the major third hammer on from a half step below. If you don't know what that means, that's okay, because uh, we're gonna learn it anyway and it sounds cool. So you're gonna plant your index finger on the first fret of that B string underneath where that ring finger is, right? It's behind it. And it's just for that note to be a passing tone. Not, we don't want that a heavy note that we're sticking on. It's gonna be passing up to that second fret like this. So practice that and then you're gonna strum and then hammer on second fret B string with that A. So we really want the sound of the A7, not the A minor, but we just we just like that sound up to it. Okay? So that we got that. Then we've got pinky on the third fret, but then back to that hammer on. So never want to hear the A minor sound like. That's not what we're going for. Just remember, that's a passing tone. You've also got the uh, nice little pinky on the third fret high E there. So check it out. I'm doing that rhythm from before, but I'm going, sorry. You got the land of A7 there too, just a little, little, Little tip. Um, okay, so now the D7 chord, the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna flatten out our index finger to do the same move on the high E. So we're gonna cover the first fret on the high E and the B, but the D7's underneath it, right? So anytime you get that same move. Then the pinky on the third. So let's slow it down here. Just break down the mechanics. That's planted there.
D7, but we're covering the high E on the first fret. Back. Take the little getting used to planting that back there. Now with the E7, this one's the easiest and probably most common, we just get the hammer from open G to first fret. And then ring finger can hit that second fret G. Thanks again, you guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, you can leave a request in the comments below. Appreciate you subscribing, you know, sharing the videos, all that stuff. It's uh, it uh, helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it once again. Uh, also, come on back soon. We'll see you later.